Good day to our viewers. We are out in the citrus orchards and we are hopefully going to bring you some valuable information on insect pest management on behalf of Citrus Research International. I'm Wayne Momsen, Extension Manager for the Northern Region. False codling moth, or FCM as it is known, is a pest of economic concern, causing damage at high population levels, but more importantly is the phytosanitary risk that it poses in some of our export markets. For this reason, we need to manage FCM populations in our citrus orchards in order to keep the populations as low as possible. Good agricultural practice requires that growers follow an integrated pest management or IPM approach and this starts with monitoring. In South Africa and neighboring countries, producers are required to manage false codling moth within a systems management approach to ensure that citrus consignments are free from FCM. We are able to monitor false codling moth in orchards using pheromone baited traps. And to explain how this works, we will use two of the commonly used trapping systems. The traps we have here are called yellow delta traps, given their name by the triangular shape. We recommend that you use rubber gloves, especially if you are working with other traps at the same time. This is so that you don't get chemical on your hands and um, transfer that onto other traps. If you catch insects of other species that can clutter up your trap and it will affect the FCM catches. The yellow delta traps are easily assembled and we need to insert a sticky liner so that the false codling moths can be caught by the glue. We then load the trap with this pheromone device or lure as it's called which slowly releases a small amount of pheromone which is specifically targeted towards the male species of the moth. You get different types of lures, but when you replace the lure, you should try to use the same device as the one you started with, so that the moth catches are consistent with the release rate of that specific device. You need to remove the pheromone device from the sachet and place it inside the cage. Do not tamper with the lures. These lures are ready to use and they do not need to be modified in any way. Traps need to be placed in the orchard upwind so that the prevailing winds can carry the pheromone into the orchard, which will then attract the FCM moths. Now most citrus orchards are north-south facing. What we need to do is hang out the trap in the southern side of the tree so it can be protected from the sun throughout the day. Traps must be hung up in the tree as high as possible. This will allow the pheromone compound to travel further in the orchard because it is heavier than air and this will prevent us from missing out on any moths that are flying above the plume of pheromone. We sometimes need to clear an area around the branch where the trap will be hanging. One must understand that these traps will be hanging out for most of the season. So it is important that we make sure that nothing is blocking the entrance of the trap, which can affect the release of the pheromone compound. It is important that at least one trap is monitored in each orchard, but also one trap can represent a group of orchards as long as the total area of those orchards is equal to less than four hectares. Traps need to be checked once a week, preferably on the same day, making sure that FCM is properly identified and that the number of moths are recorded for each trap. And one can also take a photograph of the trap so that if any of the data capturing forms get lost, then you have a record of what was done on that day. We then need to clean the moths off of the trap and then we can recharge the glue by closing the trap and then opening it again. But if your sticky liner becomes too cluttered with debris and insects, it is better to replace it. One must find a suitable method for taking down traps and putting them up again, because it's a lot of time spent in the orchard and we do not want this to be a tedious job for the monitors. Regular weekly monitoring of FCM will indicate the peak flight of the moths, and this is a reference point this will help us to identify the correct timing of treatments. We hope that the information in this video has been useful. For more detail, you can contact your local extension manager or visit our website where you'll find the production guidelines under the member download section, where you will also find other videos on the website covering various other aspects of citrus production. Thank you for watching.